Welcome to part three of modular design in the UI. In this lesson, we'll discuss modular versus homogeneous design. Modular UI design is about designing a system. Now, if UI systems are typically comprised of the same type of parts, like buttons, typefaces, icons, grids, etc., then you might be wondering, are modular designs all going to look the same? How will this affect brand identity? How can the UI or a product be unique when using modular design? While these questions are valid, they do raise an underlying question. Where does innovation and uniqueness lie in the UI design of a product? It's easy to think that innovation and uniqueness lie in the way a design looks, but that's somewhat natural to think since visual design is the first thing that we see. Visual design is just one aspect. Innovation and uniqueness in product design really come from the actual value of the product that it provides and the way people experience it, which, of course, includes its appearance. Take a chair. It needs to fill a specific function, but not all chair designs look, feel, or work exactly the same. In fact, chair design has historically been an area of innovation in design and materials. Similarly, UIs have their own requirements, but using proven patterns doesn't mean that you'll be sacrificing innovation and uniqueness. On the contrary, both innovation and uniqueness will be needed to solve particular problems your customers have. The beauty of modular design is that it encourages us to approach these solutions as a system of parts that are interconnected, rather than to find original solutions in an isolated way for the sake of being different. In other words, an innovative design applied to a UI control may not just be used in one place in the application, but instead will permeate the entire system, maintaining cohesion and improving usability. With the concepts of modular design in our hands, we can move forward and continue to the next lesson, to learn how you can modularize your designs.